Hey, happy Sunday, Portsmouth. Uh, so a uh, couple of things as we head into the next week. Um, I'm here at the last, the wrap up of the last performance of Frozen Junior at uh, Portsmouth Middle School. For those of you who don't know, uh, it's been four years since the middle school was able to put on a performance. And it helps you realize just how, kind of how long and slow the road back to normal is gonna be. Uh, and just what an impact it's had on our uh, students and staff. A um, great set of performances this weekend if you didn't have an opportunity to, uh, to see it. Uh, and the great thing about this, and I think I've talked about this a little bit in the past, is um, I know this weekend, I was here for this, last weekend had the opportunity to uh, head up to the uh, SNHU Arena uh, up in Manchester to be there for the, <coughs> excuse me, the, the, um, the Girls Ice Hockey State Championship and uh, our, several of our students were participating in the Oyster River Portsmouth uh, cooperative team uh, who played in the state final. Uh, and we came out just a little short, amazing game, um, just a little short. Uh, but in all those situations, what is great is when you come to these, uh, you're able to be, uh, to watch our students perform after they put in a ton of hard work um, in their chosen um, activity. Uh, and you're also able to be with a whole bunch of your fellow community members uh, cheering on um, our students. Uh, these are great. Um, if you don't feel good walking out of these situations, I think there's something wrong with you. So if you, if you haven't had an opportunity to come to some of our stuff uh, over the course of this year, I encourage you to look at our district calendar and see things that are coming up and come out. Um, come out and be a part of this, uh, this aspect of what it is to be Portsmouth and to be in the greater Portsmouth community. So anyways, just thanks to all the different people that help uh, bring this together. Parents, staff, um, you know, uh, and that staff are, are the teachers who are involved in helping put this stuff together and come out and support kids. Uh, it's also custodians. Um, it's a bunch of people who do some of the technical aspects, coaches, uh, all that type of stuff. So uh, kudos to uh, all of them uh, for all that hard work. Finally, um, you know, the uh, we are wrapping up the winter season with the the, the uh, completion of the winter sports season and now um, the performance. And so that brings me into another thing I just wanted to uh, mention and get your feedback on, which is around um, winter storm days. So when I came, uh, when I worked in uh, Vermont before I came here, uh, we had a couple of different things in our arsenal when we were trying to figure out uh, how to best deal with potential storm days. Uh, and it was canceling school if we needed to cancel school. And of course, our priorities around always trying to make sure our students are safe and getting people safely to school and back. But we also used, um, you know, delayed um, starts to school if um, storms had come in uh, and uh, we couldn't quite get things totally wrapped up, but close. And we used early release days uh, as a tool as well. Now I was told when I came here to Portsmouth that uh, they're like, Oop, don't do early release days. Um, it's something we haven't done for a long time. It's something that, uh, that is a real struggle for families uh, and people would prefer to, if you're, you know, rather than bring people in and then, um, and then trying to get them a little more early, they'd rather have you, you know, cancel a day and miss on a, a proper cancellation call than to, um, than to go early release. So I had the beautiful opportunity the other day and I apologize to folks who got caught where uh, we tried to do a plan early release, something we hadn't, hadn't been done in a long time um, because the forecast was that we were gonna be rain through two o'clock. And so we were really confident that we could uh, get people in and out. Well, you know, New England weather had its own ideas in mind. And of course it started snowing pretty good at 11. And so I apologize to, uh, to folks, students, staff, uh, families who get stuck in that uh, transition in that snow. Now, if you could put that aside for a second, I'm also, I, I am curious uh, to get some feedback, not about that particular call, but about whether or not we want to have early release as part of our um, uh, repertoire in dealing with uh, dealing with storms. So if you would, down below in this, I have a link to a Google uh, form. And if you could take a few moments and just answer that, you know, that question, do you or do you not want to have early release as a, as a kind of regular um, thing that we look at uh, as we're trying to figure out the way to manage storms uh, and giving students maximum instructional time uh, and, um, and also trying to balance uh, safety. So if you would down below, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'll let you know what you, what you all had to say. 
Uh, and, uh, and that's it. So I hope you have a great rest of uh, the weekend, uh, the rest of your Sunday. Uh, we look forward to welcoming everybody back in uh, tomorrow. And uh, again, one more time, I welcome you to, to be a part of uh, these types of activities. They're good for the soul uh, and they're good for our students. So, all right, take care.